Hello, this is the LEGO City 2023 Emergency Vehicles Headquarters set. It comes with 706 pieces and I built it live over on Twitch. I paid $70 US for it, seven zero. And if you're interested in it, you can find it tagged on the video. This set includes five minifigures and then the vehicles are an SUV, an ambulance, and a fire helicopter with a base to go with them all. I'm gonna look at the base first though. I'm gonna go ahead and say this looks very good, especially for a six plus building set that isn't too complex, but it has a decent amount of detail, nice aesthetics, I personally think. I think that, it's, that it feels fresh. It feels a little bit grounded with some of the, the more muted tones in here as well, and it feels kind of, kind of modern. So this is uh, built around, well, next to a driveway here, which is made with just a single 16 by 16 road plate that's included. You got the ramps here, so you can go down to just regular ground. And this is the first set that I personally have seen that uses the new non-road double high plates. So you've got a eight by eight over here, and then an eight by 16 over here, which are just like the regular road plates that we've seen to date, but with studs everywhere makes it significantly easier, faster to build up a building that has a foundation that's at the same level as roads for the first time. This shows me that Lego is really committed to this system and I'm all about it because they would like kids over the course of multiple years to be able to build up their own little city layouts easily. Thank you, I, I, I hope that they will continue. The smaller portion of the structure over here looks like its own simple little thing, almost plain and empty with just the coffee maker. We'll see the inside of this, but this is, this is actually larger than it appears. It's like bigger on the inside than it appears from the outside. It's got that TARDIS thing going on with a little bit of overhang over the top, which wasn't necessary, but it's a nice little detail to add, you know, just something extra. The double doors continue to be really, really useful up on the top. You got the vibrant yellow going around the edge to really make it stand out, especially on store shelves when, you know, just looking at the, the box art of it and then up, up here just some vines nice to get some more greenery some more foliage and also a couple of solar panels which are well they can be angled and they're made with prints as an existing part but most of the decorations you'll see in this set are done with stickers like three separate stickers right here two separate ones down here these uh, these slots, these these parking spots are just wide enough to accommodate the vehicles. I mean, there's, there's plenty of space, but then if you want the vehicles to be able to pass each other, you kind of have to bring them right to the edge because each of the vehicles has extensions. So it's six wide plus plus. It's more than eight wide in total right there. So yeah, you see, you just get that clearance. But if you have this in a little bit too close, like so, then it's just gonna hit a little bit. Not a big deal, just wanted to point it out there. You can put two six wide vehicles in there, including the ones in, that are included, even though they have extra stuff. We'll look at those a little bit later on. More foliage down here is good to see, as well as a BMO hair, never good to see because that will get focused on way too much. Uh, this, I don't know what this is. Just a, just a little outdoor space, maybe a dog, like a police dog could be held there. Uh, you know, as just a temporary outdoor space for it. But otherwise it's kind of like a, like a patio area. It would have been nice to have like a seat there or something maybe, I don't know. So that, that one's a little bit awkward, but at least it's green, that's good. So here's the interior of the small space. See, it continues all the way through. It's almost just a little bit deceptive as viewed from the outside. So that's the coffee maker, a simple comfy chair for one person. And they've got a TV over here, which is looking at the launch of another Lego City set. Upstairs, meanwhile, this is Dispatch, and it's got dispatch accommodations for <laughs> three screens, one for each of the types of emergency vehicles that are included in the set. This does use stickers for the screens, but the keyboard that's almost embedded into the desk is a print. We've seen that before. This treadmill design is so basic, so simple, but it absolutely works. It absolutely works. Look at that. It's it's just fine. Again, especially considering this is a six plus set. Yeah, uh, I'm down with it. And then up top is just a helipad with more of the vibrant yellow used around here. And then the red is supposed to connect to the fire helicopter in particular, but you can use it for anything. It is a small pad, but it is at least large enough to just barely fit most helicopters that Lego has ever done. You know, you've got an eight stud width there, which will accommodate most uh, skid sets. And then just, you know, some other little small details up on the top just to avoid the whole thing looking too boring. And I do want to point out that the roof section here comes off easily because this is just a regular plate 
and then you've got a limited number of studs here, but then this also comes off. This is not just a regular plate. So this uses the, the two stud thick plate here that is compatible with the road plate system. So giving us more of these, so you can use this as a, as a module or build out from there to your own custom stuff. Similarly, this little section over here is able to come up easily, but this one does not have the, uh, the double, uh, the double thick, so this is not the eight by eight by two thirds version. But I mean, you know, you can like shift this over here if you want to have this over on top of the the patio. So just you know, quickly and easily, you can do a little bit of modification to it, and that actually doesn't hurt too much because now you've got the round here, the round here, flat space, flat space. See, a little bit of customization easily, I think, is a good thing, especially just for younger kids who are starting out. And you can almost make a one story high setup work because again, the second level has the larger base on it and then just put things together. Leaves just a little bit of area over here on the side, a little bit uncovered, but potentially you could use something from the side build to cover that up if you do a little bit of modification. I do wanna point out that there's a, a really bad issue with one of the window pieces here. And this is something that continues to be a major issue. Well, it's, it's becoming more and more of an issue over time with uh, the softer plastics that Lego uses for transparent pieces these days, since they phased out polycarbonate uh, for regulatory reasons. But yeah, scratches happen. If that does happen to you and you really don't like it, you don't think that you should have to deal with it, don't call customer support. They will send you a replacement. The replacement itself might be scratched, but keep doing it. You deserve to have good parts. And if you call customer support, it is a pain to have to go through that at all, but it will help to solve the problem because Lego has to spend a lot of money for their customer support training and running the centers and they don't like to waste money. So they will eventually get the idea. We just have to tell them. The ambulance looks a little bit fresh to me, a little bit different. The front end has a little bit of rounding around it and the rear end has some rounding down here at the base as well. Just makes it, yeah, feel like it's not just another van. It's also a little bit a little bit on the short side, which which I think is good because I think that this really goes well with the proportions of minifigs. You know, you can always ask for everything to be huge. You know, make it eight wide, make it, nine wide, 11 wide, you know, full eight wide here and then a box frame on the back. Or you could just do this for a six wide set and it's perfectly fine because look, you got the little doors that everybody likes to see even though you can't really do anything with that other than just imagine it, but imagining it is fine. Access to a simple little uh, seat there, which is odd that it's got the two colors on it. Doesn't really hurt anything, but I would have preferred fewer colors just in that one spot. Uh, you cannot take easily the roof off back here, but you can easily get access to the rear where you just slide out the, the stretcher. Unfortunately, you cannot put an attendant in the back to be attending to the person. They just won't quite fit unless you want to leave the doors partially open in the back, having them sit there. But then you got a crash cart on the side. Now check this out. This it might be, might feel a little bit awkward to have it attached to the outside, but it is attached to the outside and it uses this sort of setup with the clip and then this piece, which is not too old in the Lego inventory. There's another clip on the other side. Well, they use this same system to attach other things in city right now, but also other things in this specific set. For example, this police SUV has a camera unit over here that can be snapped off. And over here, it's got a floodlight unit. So you can put the floodlight on the other side, potentially, if you want, and that can go right side up or upside down. It's a little bit difficult to get some of these off if they're really, really flush the way that they connect. But it, again, does use the same system, which I like. As you know, if you've watched me for a while, I like systems. One of the reasons that I like Lego itself, and I think that Lego should continue to do more systems with its system. This has just seating for one driver and then you can throw a criminal sitting in the back and that's it. It would have been nice if this was able to better accommodate a dog, you know, so this could be a canine unit because it really looks like it could be. And then that would also, I think, go well with the little patio area in the set. Again, a little bit more rounding here to make it feel not just the same as the last, I don't know, five, 
plus years of city things a little bit different styling for the light bar there as well something partially shared with what they did on the ambulance in this in this set it's a little bit simplistic looking but it works and then here's the fire helicopter which thank goodness does not use that same daggone canopy that they've used eight billion times for small helicopters this has a much more sleek look to it reminds me a lot just uh, i'm sorry I'm, I'm old it reminds me of chop lifter an old uh uh, Fort, Fort Apocalypse or Choplifter, old games from the arcade games from the 80s and played on my Commodore 64 and stuff like that. But I just, I, I like that. It's At least it's different. Yes, there's a gap here, but I don't think that most six-year-old kids are going to care too much about that. These, these are water shooters. So just one tile or stud goes in there each side. And those are modules. So those can be popped off. You can put one of those on one of your other vehicles or you can replace that with this. So this can be used to transport something that's needed to the to dispatch or to uh, to a hospital if you got one of those in your in your area. You know, again, using a system. There's nothing included in here right now, but using a system, I think, to reasonably good effect. Uh, this is a print back here for the tail. Tail rotor spins up, and there is one problem here. Main rotor turns kinda does not spin freely. They have changed out the plastic type finally for this rotor. I don't remember if they did that earlier, like last year, or if it's just now, but, oh, it says on there, it says 2022, it says right there. Which might have, might have, this might be the first, I don't know, I haven't, haven't looked it up, but this is using the newer material, just like the canopies are using. This previously had a hard material. Now it's using the newer, softer material, or one of the newer, softer materials and it's just not it's just not free up against abs it just doesn't spin freely it spins a little bit but there's a lot more friction in there than there used to be and that's a little bit disappointing to me because it was always fun to spin spin this up and then you know move it through the air you know let it free wheel for a little while it just doesn't do that with this one it might be a fluke with this particular one that i got but i'm going to be on the lookout for that being a consistent issue because because it is it takes away from the fun of the of the craft inside here i uh, wish that you could open up the canopy a little bit farther a little bit easier but it just has one printed console piece and the single control stick the final build is a little barbecue in the park and it has gone wrong with the blackened out hot dog or sausage there and then this is on fire and then there's fire up above so you can see that there's so much heat on that grill that the <laughs> grill itself is all red which is which is cool look and the idea here is that you try to shoot at these with the water cannon the little stud shooter tile shooter element that's on the fire helicopter use that up here maybe if you're not able to get a good shot down here then switch one of those water cannons off to your police vehicle or something like that and try using it from the ground it's at about the right level so that should work and they also give you a couple of apples up here the color of the leaves is bright green the color of the base plate here is also bright green and then you have just a couple of regular green pieces up here and with the fire taken off that's what the grill looks like with a little bit of texture around the back as well there's also this mountain bike, which doesn't really count as a build, although you do assemble the tires, but uh, gray frame there and red wheels. I think the story they're going for here is that this lady was doing the barbecuing and then things got out of hand and she dropped her, her purse or her basket. And then this guy comes along on the bike, takes her money and then leaves. The police have to chase him down. He falls off his bike and then he breaks his uh, wrist. So that's why there was a cast on the, on the crash cart on the, uh, on the ambulance so it just ties all of, all three of the vehicles together very 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 simply easily and quickly and i like the new torso print over here although it is a little bit lacking in the white uh, color but that is such a strong face very expressive face here's the other face for that head and that brings me to the three emergency services personnel representing police ems and fire respectively these all look pretty good to me. You got the printing on the, on the legs over here. No printing for the others. Would have been nice to get some print at least for the, the EMS uh, individual here. You know, just, just to have something extra, I think would have been nice. Either that or at least an additional figure for uh, dispatch. You know, because if each of these people is in their respective vehicles, then you don't have anybody to be inside of the, the building. Just with this set here. Only one has an alternate face. The prints on the backs look good too. 
These are the leftover pieces and there's some bad here and some good. The bad is that there's no hairpiece for the fire dude. So if he takes his helmet off, then he's just going to be bald, which is which is okay every once in a while. But you know, we went through years and years of asking Lego to include a hairpiece for helmeted figures that should have hair if they take the helmet off. And I think that the design team may have just forgotten that this time because they've generally been much better about that lately. However, the design team did listen to and remember, in this case, feedback from many, many LEGO fans about the lack of these with all of the road plate related sets and all the road plates themselves that are on the market right now. You need extras of these to be able to connect things together. And they included a pair of them with this set. They should always do that. They should have done that since the beginning. They missed that. Hopefully they of course corrected and we'll see a lot more of these included in relevant sets. Finally, here's a sticker sheet. And if you look carefully, you can notice uh, pretty readily that it's cut a little bit off. This is a little bit offset. Uh, I wish that they would be a little bit more consistent with that. It's not too bad, but you know, better is better. And this is not. So again, I paid $70 US for this 7-0. It is 65 65 euros or 60 60 pounds uk and for the amount of stuff that you get here the play value and the quality of each build i'd say that for a change this is actually a 70 dollars city set that comes with the base plates the modern road plates that's not overpriced this feels like a decent value to me it is not a modular building it is not intended to be for upper teens it is not intended to be a collector model for adults it is a six plus set and it does a really really good job of being a toy set for kids as young as six years old and it looks good for folks who are older than that who like the classic basic straightforward toyish aesthetic of lego this feels very fundamental to me in that way this feels like it manages to capture a lot of the charm of a decade ago, a couple decades ago, even all the way back into the 80s for someone old and nostalgic like, like myself. It captures a lot of that goodness, that pure, unadulterated, colorful goodness of basic Lego stuff. And the newer parts, I think, are going to go a long way. The prints that are here are pretty good bunch of stickers yes legos use stickers for as long as i've been alive and longer than that has a few little quirks a few little things that could have been a little bit better i think but all in all most of it is at least pretty good at least so generally pretty happy with this and even with the value thank you very much for watching i hope that this was of some value to you i will continue to bring you a lot more reviews because there are many more to do and i'll talk to you again soon bye for now